I'm sorry, y'all. I told myself I wasn't gonna do this. <laughs> We've been waiting for this one, man, and god damn, they gave us a huge collection. There's at least, what, like 25 damn, different Where'd items out of this one, man. I cannot believe how big of a capsule we're getting for this release, and you guys know me. The Premistery Glamour is one of my favorite collabs we see out of Supreme. It's been some time since we last got one. Um, this is my favorite Supreme Mystery collection of all time when we got the snake print denim set. This dope Kawichan with the big old fuck them on the back. I mean, what are we doing, man? Uh, these two brands are perfectly made for each other. Both use annoying, obnoxious cuss words, naked girls, and yet again, these two have delivered on a huge collection. We're gonna go over today uh, covering everything that released out of the lookbook. We'll do a full drop list video tomorrow, but uh, right now, we just have so much to get into, so drop a like. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I've seen kind of split opinions. I understand both sides. Like, you know, I'm gonna be a glazer, of course. I love this collection, but I also understand some of the criticisms people do have of some of these items, so uh, without further ado, dude let's just get into it i'd love to hear what you guys plan on going for and uh yeah let's get started now, of course i always gotta remind you guys really fast if you want to join my private discord group browser it's a great time to join right now because it's going to be a really big collection and we still got half of the supreme season left if you're interested it's a private discord group uh head over to the comment section hit the link for a free seven day trial or you can just join the free discord if you want to just talk with the boys um but yeah i recommend you guys join browser this week especially if you want to run a slot um i actually did get a slot that hit for me last week with the ncaa stuff you'll also see me write up my favorite recommended items to go for out of this release but that's enough talking man it's finally time we start looking at this stuff i woke up just so happy bro like when i saw this was finally coming out so excited and some of the images out of this lookbook are ridiculous starting it off the asian dude dead bro this photo is so hard i know i sound like i'm doing tricks on it but bro this jacket and uh, this boy handsome as shit i can't even lie like this dude's cheekbones are a mat all right let's focus on the clothing boom but look at the jacket bro this might be one of the hardest vans and leather jackets we've ever gotten out of supreme and that's saying something they dropped some fire before the ghost rider that's still an iconic one but man i cannot believe this jacket it's gonna be so expensive like honestly we're looking at 14 1500 maybe even two racks like that's how crazy expensive it's gonna be but these are gonna fly off the website because by far Far, the most iconic item out of this whole collab is gonna be this leather jacket. I absolutely love it. This blue colorway, what are we doing, bro? Like this, oh, I would I would kill to get to wear one of these, man. This is such a sick item. The patch is all throughout. Hysteric Glamour does love to do their patches, so hopefully we see more on some other items. Let's go to the next photo. Bang, another jacket, and this time we also got the trucker hat to match. The trucker hats are tough, but uh, this green and yellow one, it's okay. I'm not gonna blow sound bubbles on this one because I don't know It's just not my favorite color combo in the world and I don't think it necessarily works that well for a leather jacket I think like a white red like a red iteration similar to this blue one I think would have been better, but it's still okay That blue one's gonna just do so much better on the market um, The backside hit with the double middle fingers I got the hysteric glamour supreme button-up that has that exact same image on it. Love it uh, Keeping it moving. We got some varsity jacket. They brought out all the stops for this collection getting a leather jacket and varsity is kind of insane um, but this varsity I want to like it more but it doesn't feel as hysteric glamour as that leather jacket that one has hysteric vibes all throughout it this one does have like the hysteric glamour lady sitting on the S tough uh, but I don't know like the backside I don't really love it too much I've seen a lot of people kind of hating on it it's not this actual image I don't like it's more so just a singular fat blown up image on the backside that just doesn't give me like Leatherman varsity vibes um, and the front side I don't know the patches I think could be a lot more special and better so uh, the varsity unfortunately I'm not as hyped on although I think it's okay if you like it I understand why uh, but the black color is a lot better I will say the black color does kind of save it a little bit here I just wish they hit us with some better patches i think they went a little light on them and it being hysteric who has so many different random little patch designs in their bag i think they could have came at us harder on an item that is supposed to feature really cool patches so bit of a bummer but moving it on we got this really cool mohair zip up uh now i want to like this i think older boone would have really fucked with this one but my biggest thing with it is i'm not like a huge like hoodie zip up person i think if this was just like a normal sweater i would have been a way bigger fan getting some marnie vibe 
vibes, but um, it being a zip up jacket is gonna make it more expensive, and I just don't think it looks quite as good. I really think this would have looked a lot better as a sweater. Bars. Love the little patch on the bottom. The colorways are also pretty nice. This green Grinch stripe colorway, pretty sick. Um, we also got the little track pants going on in this image, uh, but over this look honestly looks terrible. This is a horrible combination, but uh, this red colorway, ugh, this one might be harder. It's at least easier to wear, although I think the green's a little more fun to be honest, but uh, this black colorway is pretty nice as well. And I believe this is actually the baby t-shirt design. Um, Hysteric makes a ton of women's clothing. That's one of the biggest reasons I really like when they work with Supreme. We actually get a bunch of men's sizes of stuff that otherwise would be kind of Japanese sizing. And a lot of it made for girls, so like a lot of Hysteric shit really does not fit for me, especially the cooler archive stuff. Um, but we also got the belt <laughs> down below, and you know I'll be looking at that belt. Uh, pause, like, not like, okay. Uh, moving it on, the baby shirt, cool, but if you're copping a baby shirt as a guy, come on, bro. We have this full fit of, I don't even know what this print is going on. Are those like, oh, they're cars, I believe? Yeah, it looks like cars. Uh, this one's really random, I have to say. Uh, would not guess this was a hysteric item if I saw it. Even though they do a ton of all over designs, just feel like I'd never see car themed stuff out of them. Not terrible, but I think it's kind of skippable. It's nothing that got me too pumped up. Uh, moving it on though, the track jacket. Um, honestly, I think this track suit's a little weak. I don't know, man. I, I think it's a little like boring, I guess. Uh, not a ton going on with it, so pretty skippable. Uh, this is just a horrible image. I'm not gonna lie. I, this is a little too artsy for me, my guy. Like, I can't see anything going on in this, and it looks stupid. So let's keep it moving. They kind of missed with this one, bro. This kind of gives me similar vibes to that Martine Rose uh, sweater we got, where like there's elements to it I really like. Like the Hysteria Glamour font, super tough. The Supreme one being so much lower, it's a little weird. I feel like this is supposed to look like a jersey almost. Like, it gives me like a motocross jersey kind of vibe uh, but as in this sweater I don't know I'm not fully there uh, the sleeves are tough too man like this one's so close to being dope maybe it's like the stripe designs going throughout that I don't love I, I'm like 50 50 with this I kind of rock with it but I would not pay the retail price for it um, and <laughs> I mean, what are we doing, bro? We got the 69ers the Supreme football shirt, bro. I don't know what to say about this one, y'all. Uh, they definitely leaned into their weirdness with this whole collection. There's a bunch of kind of craziness, but that also captures Hysteria Glamour's vibes. Um, I will say, though, so, 69ers is insane. Goddamn, bro, you're looking like you're running a meme page walking around with this one on. I guess this does feel like somewhat in tune with modern trends where people will be walking around with shirts that say the most outlandish shit on them. This is kind of babyish compared to some of the shit I've read on those shirts. Like, I need a fat emo chick to come take advantage of me or something. Like, I see the weirdest shit on Instagram, bro, so this is soft compared to that. Ugh, it, I, if it had just been the number 69 with the Supreme, I would have been fine with it. Literally putting 69ers above that is kind of crazy. Uh, but, <laughs> oh, baby, here we go. My favorite item coming out of this collection is by far this zip-up jacket. I just realized I said the mohair zip-up I wasn't into, but for some reason this zip-up, it actually works, man. Maybe it's like the big print zip-ups I fuck with more, but um, yeah, I do think this one looks really good as a zip-up up hoodie and I'm going to be copping one man. I think this is the item I'm going to be going for this release. I have a feeling a lot of you are going to fuck with it as well because this whole like bong image that they're using throughout this collection it's not too like in your face knowing what it is but if you look at it long enough you're like oh shit like, she hitting the bong, she hitting the tuka so uh, I fuck with it. This red blue color I kind of want to like it because the wash red does look like a really nice blank color, but uh, it's black and white gang over here, man. I think I'm going to end up going for the black one. Um, here we got a Hysteric just logo t-shirt. Not a bad one at all. Um, Hysteric Glamour, you've probably seen throughout this collection. They love putting girls all over their stuff, especially like old school, like 80s, 70s looking girls. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool t-shirt design. Not too mad about it. And uh, next up, someone's mom is on a Supreme t-shirt with the word fuck on it. Like this is probably some porn shit from the fuck. 80s or something man and now it's made its way onto a supreme tee i gotta say this one's a little outlandish we got og rocking it i guess that's kind of tough um this guy's giving me weird vibes though this shirt's just come on bro like I, even i can't co-sign this one it's a little too much man um like it's funny but what are we doing, bro? I do love that fuck font, though. It's obviously kind of similar um, to the Ford or the fucked font. So I do fuck with that aspect of it. I know that uh, Hysteric Glamour has ripped off the Ford logo a bunch. I wish we were seeing more of that in this collection because I love that shit. Uh, but here we got that baby tee. I don't know. I think this is a pretty basic design for the baby tee. I've seen way better ones from Hysteric Glamour. So 
kind of disappointed with that, I have to say, and these sort of mid-track pants alongside it. Here we got the Vance in bag. Um, I wish it was a different bag style. I don't really love this bag style they're bringing out. It's like a laptop bag. Like, who the fuck be rocking that shit, Brett? Um, I wish it was just like a backpack or like a leather duffel bag or something. So, kind of skippable to me. Oh, is this like another bag? That they, I don't even... No, wait. This is like a microwave. What are we doing? This is the most random image of all time. Uh, so, that does it for the full collection. I have to say, it's got its highs and it's got its lows. Unfortunately, the best parts of this collection are really the more expensive stuff. Like, this leather jacket, that's a top three Supreme Hysteric Glamour item of all time, probably. This blue colorway is fucking insane. It might end up actually having really good profit, too, honestly. Uh, but the green color, not as big of a fan. The Varsity is, like, again... It just doesn't fully have that hysteric feel for me. Like these sleeve hits that look like some number nine shit almost on uh, one of the sleeves, those definitely give some hysteric vibes, but I just feel like they could have given this one way cooler patches. The backside hits really just, it's not that fun. Um, so I think they had the right idea here, but they kind of fumbled it, which is unfortunate because the Supreme Hysteric Varsity sounds insane. The black one's pretty nice though. I think the blue one's really a lot worse. Even though I like the colors, just the black one looks better. Here we got the mid ass tracksuit. I have to say, this might be my least favorite item out of this whole collab. I just hate these, man. They feel really lazy, really rushed, and I don't think they encapsulate either brand very well, so not into them at all. If you guys like them, fair enough, but totally out on them. Uh, these zip-ups, I definitely fuck with. They definitely feel like some like older vintage, like 90s, early 2000s, like archive, like even like some number nine shit. Honestly, I get that vibe from this. That being said, I don't think I'm gonna be copping one. Um, I like them. Like, honestly, if I take an L, maybe Maybe I'll go get one of these because I do rock with them. I love my mohair shit. I know it'll be hell uncomfortable. I just wish it was a sweater. I think I really would like these a lot more if it was a sweater. Um, being a zip up kills it a bit for me. I think it's just a better look for a sweater than a zip. Uh, but I do love the patch they included. Looking at them more, definitely the black color. But this is definitely my favorite item out of this collection, man. I love these zip ups and I need to get one. Like this has to be my cop, man. I can't take an L here. I do like this red color a lot. The wash red is gorgeous. The black and white also a vibe like I, I don't know man I don't know which of these colors to get you guys tell me I feel like I will look better with the black colorway but the red is something different you know I do have a lot of black zip ups and shit um, but this is by far my favorite item super wearable love the graphic on it I love big graphic zip ups um, just all around super killed it on this item I hope it's not too expensive man don't kill me over here Supreme uh, these shirts are not bad this whole print though I don't know, man. Just, it feels a little bit random. I wish we saw some other different print. Like I was saying, Hysteric's got some crazy all over prints. We saw them on like the bed sheets they did back in the day that I still want to cop. I need to get one of those. I'll even buy them used after you pissed in it. I don't care, man. Um, but this one, I don't know. It just doesn't feel very Hysteric Glamour to me. Although it is a pretty dope camo. Like, it blends really well, but I don't know. I'm just not in on it enough, I guess. Um, but the pants aren't terrible. Uh, this sweater... I'm close to liking it, but it's just, it's just off, bro. Something feels weird about it. Um, so this is an easy pass for me, and I'd imagine a lot of y'all are gonna pass on them as well. Ah, uh, this is Glamour like logo, like putting that on like the Varsity backside. That'd have been so much harder than the Bong Chick. Um, so I am a little bummed. I feel like there was a lot of potential with this, uh, but then the 69ers. I mean, come on, bro. I know y'all are gonna want me to go cop this because you guys think you're funny. Well, you're not. It's not even that fun. It's kind of funny, but it's not that funny. Uh, the yellow one, definitely my favorite, but I'm gonna be passing on them. It's just, come on, dudes. 69ers. Like, we, I, I'm 27, y'all. I'm too old to be rocking some shit like this. I, I actually don't give a fuck. This shit says fuck all over. What am I talking about? Super solid logo shirt here. I would definitely go cop one of these, but I don't know if I'm gonna do a multi card or not. I really want to get that zip up, and I've been being a good boy. I've been paying my shipping because I got to make sure I cop this shit, man. I can't be taking L's anymore. It gets really embarrassing when I do in front of y'all, but I've been doing well on these bigger weeks, so hopefully we keep it up. The baby blue is probably my favorite color, but I would cop the white personally just because that's the color I like to rock the most for t-shirts. They didn't even show us this t-shirt. I mean, what the fuck are we... Like, what? I don't even know what to say right now, bro. Like, what the fuck is this? Dick Jewel is the person that designed this. Shout out to you, Dick Jewel, you weird fuck. Like, the name already just tells me enough. Um, I don't even know what to say about it. Pretty funny, but the baby tees probably will be selling out. I do imagine these are gonna do well, even though I think they're lazy. I think they could have definitely came harder on these. The colorways aren't bad or anything. It's just a really basic, kind of boring logo stack. Uh, the bags, like, this is what I'm talking about, man. We needed more just patches all over shit. We should have had a zip up that had a patch scheme similar to this. 
I'm a little bit disappointed in that aspect, I suppose. Um, I think they could have done more with this patching idea. It's a huge thing Hysteric does, so I'm a little bummed because this is a dope bag, but like, I just, this is not a style of bag I would ever rock, and it being leather is going to be super expensive. Um, but this, this hat is fire, bro. I gotta say, this hat does go stupid. Okay, I just had to double check. This is just Vanson Mesh. I, for a second, I thought they were saying it was leather. Um, no, Vanson Leather is just the name brand. So this is a normal mesh trucker hat. I think I gotta get one of these, man. Like, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Some of these hysteric patches they make are so tough. We should have seen these on other items. Um, I really like this hat a lot, though. I don't know which color to get. I'm trying to think. I feel like that blue one is my favorite, honestly. They're all really good colors here, though. Uh, I love this. They crushed it on this hat. Uh, and then we just got this belt, which I feel like is going to be over expensive. If it's not, I'll definitely go cop one. Um, but they brought out not that fun of a logo. I don't really like this logo colorway. I've definitely seen Hysteric kind of use a similar logo before, but it's never been my favorite. So I'm a little bit bummed on it. I think there's better stuff they could have came out with. Um, and we also got a little keychain. This is fun. What did I say? Head fucker. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, fuck it. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, but that does it for the full collection. So let me know what you guys think about it. I like it a lot myself. Definitely the zip up's my favorite. Trucker number two. If we're talking about the best item, it's obviously the leather jacket. But there's a solid t-shirt or two in here as well. Um, and we'll talk about more resale uh, tomorrow when we have retails and everything. But let me know what you guys think. I think this is a solid collection. They definitely dropped the ball some places. But um, I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it. Like the item I like, I really fuck with and there's a couple items in here I'm a huge fan of but I just knowing what Supreme and Hysteric Glamour have done before I think they definitely could have came harder but um, I don't know man it's never gonna be perfect and usually that's all I'm looking for out of a Supreme collection so yeah I'll see you guys for this live cop this is gonna be a fun one because I'm crashing out if I don't cook on this one man I need that zip up been your boy Boone I'll see you on the next one for the video tomorrow I'm out peace